<laughs> okay, uh, I want to thank everyone for attending this joyous occasion tonight, and an extra thank you for those that traveled so far to be here. I was given instructions for this speech <laughs> to not be too long, not too sappy, not too embarrassing. Really? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> So, let me start with Greg, the, the handsome group. When I heard that Leah had met and was dating a young man in San Diego named Greg, I reacted like I did for any of Leah's previous boyfriends. So what? <laughs> speaking, in all, speaking to all the dads in the room with daughters, is it just me or did you have the same feeling that I had that there never was going to be a guy good enough for your daughter. Sharon and I traveled to San Diego to be near Leah and get away for the winter, and we met Greg. I can tell you there was something different about these two together by the way they interacted and the way he looked at her. People would ask me after a while, do you like Greg? And I would say, well, I don't dislike him. <laughs> Again, it's just me, the father-daughter thing. But it didn't take long to be comfortable around Greg, and he even laughed at some of my stupid jokes, <laughs> although begrudgingly. <laughs> Big kudos to Eleanor and Perry Vavoulis for raising a son with many fine traits. <laughs> and, and Greg has been very supportive to Leah in so many ways. And Greg, I just want to tell you how much we appreciate it. Very much. However, Greg has one major flaw. He is a New York Giants fan. I guess I'll have to work around that. Anyway, Greg, now that the day has come and you're married, Sharon and I are all in with you. You are, you are our son-in-law, but we promise to love you like a son. And yes, Greg, I do like you. <laughs> now let me start with our bride, Leah, or continue with our bride, Leah. Leah has affectionately been given the nickname, Lucky Leah. She has had the uncanny ability to win a gambling, raffles, contests, and just overall lucky in life. She just rarely loses. In fact, she's going to win a bracket pool for the NCAA tournament. <laughs> and how about this? It was 40 degrees yesterday, windy, raining, cold. Now it's her wedding day. 65, sunny, beautiful day. Outdoor wedding. Just lucky. Anyway, anyone who knows Leah, she's bright, beautiful, confident, ambitious, and full of life. But most of all, a good person. And I did skip something. Her Leah's lucky streak continues when she met Greg. But, but okay, so all, overall, Leah's a good person. Please forgive me. <laughs> forgive me for one brag right now with Leah. Leah is attending MIT Graduate School. Really? It's just kind of amazing. I just gotta shake my head. Maybe it was all the stimulus and praise we gave her, along with her hard work. I guess it all paid off. She has given us many reasons to be proud of her, and she fills our hearts with joy. What a beautiful bride. I have not been able to take my eyes off her, not only tonight, but through her whole life. Her creation has been our greatest accomplishment. It goes without saying how much we love her. We look forward for the Freeman and Vavul's families to have many shared experiences together and to share in Lee and Greg's bright future together, a future filled with promise and love. Maybe a few grandchildren, who knows? <laughs> No pressure. 
I want to give a quick shout out to Lee and Greg's pet guinea pig, Spanky and Moose. Um, unfortunately, they could not be here tonight. We're sad about that. So to steal some lyrics from Barbara Streisand's song, please everyone raise your glass. And to Lee and Greg, may all your storms be weathered and all that's good be better. Here's to life, here's to love, here's to you. Please everyone enjoy the rest of the evening. Gentlemen, at this time we would like to invite up our maid of honor, Kelsey, to say a few words, so please give her a